Hey, what's going on guys? Today I have three 2022 fragrance releases. Uh, they're all three designers. Uh, ordered them from my place of employment and they have arrived. So three of them, there's really one of them that I've smelled, but like on one of those little, uh, I got like, I guess I got a magazine that had one of these fragrances that so one of those little like pool strip things, you know, where you can smell it. it. Smelled pretty good, so I ordered it. My wife said she thought it smelled good, so I ordered it. Uh, the other two, Aqua de Jo, uh, Aqua de Jo Eau de Parfum, not super excited about, a little bit. And One Million Elixir, I don't think I'm going to like that one, but I ordered it for you guys, so uh, you guys can know what it's all about. Plus, you know, everybody criticizes fragrance reviewers because we only review things we like. That's because we buy things that we like. So I figured I would buy something that I don't think I'm going to like just for you guys. All right, here is our package. I'm going to crack it open for you. All right, so first time in three weeks, I put regular clothes on. Finally felt like I wanted to get dressed today after having surgery, but by like a little short of breath and everything, still kind of recovering. That was doing better until, I don't know, last night, started having like AFib coming on. It's like, I don't know if any of you are familiar with it, but uh it's like where your two upper chambers your heart are just like quivering they're not really beating the two bottom chambers are beating uh and then when i have it the two bottom chambers like shoot up in rates so i might be sitting here at like 60 beats a minute then all of a sudden boom i'm at 140 150 beats a minute and feeling a little short of breath and everything and then uh it goes down so it's like off and on every few minutes <laughs> for like the last 24 hours and it freaking sucks don't like it but i they did say that was kind of normal after my surgery so yeah all right here's the fragrances <laughs> enough about my healthcare woes so we have aqua de joe eau de parfum we have dolce and gabbana light blue italian love this is the one that I'm kind of excited about. I wasn't a huge fan of Forever last year. I don't know, you can go back and watch my review of that. I thought it was just way too much grapefruit. I like grapefruit, but I thought it was just way too much. I wish the fragrance did something else, but I love Italian citrus style fragrances, and this is that's what this smelled like on that little pull card I got in that magazine that my wife really liked, so I ordered it. And in fact, I think I ordered a 50 mil and they sent me a 100 mil. So that's cool. And I also ordered a 50 mil uh, Popular Bonds 1 million elixir right here. I have Lucky, which I like. I don't wear it very often because I don't like it that much, but I like it. I have Privé, which I think is freaking amazing. Wish they didn't discontinue it. And I have the original. I wear it every now and then, but it's just kind of too sweet for me. Um, and I think that's probably going to be the case with uh, Elixir. I don't know. We'll find out. And ordered my wife some stuff. Makeup. So that will be for her. And let's go and crack these open. All right. So let's start with the one I don't think I'm going to be crazy about. Because I know a lot of you guys do like the 1 million line. Um, We'll see what it we'll see what it does. And I do plan on trying to get some uh, 2022 releases, like niche 2022 niche releases. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. I have a couple that I have my eye on. They're not going to be um, super mainstream niche fragrances or anything like that. They're kind of like those that nobody talks about thinking about pulling the trigger on them. If you want me to do so, you want to see some new stuff that nobody talks about, do drop that in the comments. All right, let's open this one up. All right, so bottle looks pretty much the same as 
the others. And with the Pocket Ravon stuff, I always get a 50 mil just because I don't wear it all that much. So you can see the difference in the little gold plaque on here. And see what we got. <laughs> Three sprays, probably too many. Whew. Ugh. Uh, well, a lot of you guys like this. Probably so. Um, I can see where it's pretty appealing, but it is so freaking sweet, man. I, mainly what I'm getting is just a lot of vanilla. There's a brightness about it. It's not like a dark, rich vanilla. There is like a lot of brightness uh, going on. I can't even... Probably some sort of citrus making it like a bright, sweet vanilla. Can't really... I can't really say that I can pick out any other notes besides vanilla. It's... It's vanilla. Um, if you have one million, um, what was the last one that came out? One million, the one I don't have. Uh, whatever the one that came out in 2020 is, I can't think. I can't, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, if you have that one, probably don't need this one if you have lucky or the original or that 2020 release just based off of the first spray initial reaction of this I don't think you need it um, those other two would fit that style of fragrance you're looking for you don't I think it would be kind of repetitive to have this but I mean, unless you're a collector. It's just a lot of sweet vanilla. Tons of vanilla. I can't even pick out any other notes, to be honest, just because of how dominant that bright, sweet vanilla is. This could be very headache-inducing in the summertime. This could be, get very cloying pretty quickly. I think a little is going to go a long way. And it's going to be a younger guy's scent. Uh, I mean, unless you're an older guy that likes super sweet things. But it's just just kind of more of the same for Paco Rabanne. Does it smell bad? No. Is it my style? No. Um, not awful. It's not Phantom. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been following me for about a year now. You might remember my Phantom review. And I gave that like, like four thumbs down. I thought it was just crap but this one it's pleasant but it's just more of the same thing just just more of that same sweet vanilla thing not a whole lot of change with it um not impressed maybe you are i'm not definitely go to your local sephora ulta i don't know department store try it for yourself don't blind buy this unless you can return it Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Italian Love. Let's knock this one out. This is the one that, out of these three, I'm most excited about. And, like I said, that's based off of that little card or whatever that was in that magazine. I thought it smelled like something I like. Italian citrus, I like that. But, you know, anything that kind of resembles like an Aqua de Parma or something like that. I dig it quite a bit. And... There goes my heart. Into AFib. Told you guys. I hate that. Bottle, you have that same light blue type of a design. It's going to be a darker blue juice. White cap. Atomizer. Decent. And let's spray up. Ooh, smelling some grapefruit. Yeah, that's definitely got to have some grapefruit in it. Um, that's really what just punched me right in the face when I first sprayed it. Now, on that little scent strip card that I got in the magazine, I did not pick up 
grapefruit. I got more of lemon bergamot type of thing. I didn't get the grapefruit. I'm getting a pretty good heavy dose of grapefruit in this opening though. Now I'm going to come back in about three hours and give you guys first impressions of the dry down. So you get opening and dry down, but so far in the opening, lots of grapefruit. Very, very grapefruit dominant. Reminds me of last year's release, Light Blue Forever. Now, if it dries down um, with some other citruses going on, maybe a little bit of a dry woods or something like that in the base, it's going to be an improvement over last year's Forever. The grapefruit smells really good. Uh, smells like Forever, uh, last year's release, where you had like kind of like that rind of the grapefruit scent. But yeah, so far I'm just getting grapefruit. So you're going to have to see how that's going to play out in the dry down, but. It is a really nice grapefruit note. Last year's grapefruit in forever was really nice. My only complaint, my main complaint with it was that's all it was. And hopefully, hopefully this dries down kind of like it was on that little card I got in that magazine where I get some more of like the Italian style citrus coming up in there. Aqua de Joe, but a parfum right here. Seen. To be honest, I haven't watched a whole lot of reviews in the last few weeks just because I had so much stuff going on and um, just watched, you know, a couple here and there, but not a whole lot. I haven't really seen a whole lot on this one. I saw, I saw one review from uh, Hazy Fragrance Reviews, so go check him out. He has a review of this one. He was less than impressed. But I ordered it anyway, and I ordered it because I collect the Aqua de Joe line, so I wanted to not have a gap. I don't have, I don't know, that one everybody likes that's, that's discontinued. If you want to gift me that, I will accept it, but I don't have it. All right, right here, Aqua de Joe Eau de Parfum. Wood style cap. And your atomizer. Good atomizer on that. Now, I hope it's going to be different than the straight up original because I think it's going to be a really crap move of Armani if they took the original and actually just made it to last when they could have done that to begin with. So, hopefully, it's going to be something a little bit different and something that's going to last as well. Yeah, it's different. I um, feel like I'm getting a lemon in here. I don't know if I'm getting bergamot. I think I'm getting lemon. Because the citrus that I'm getting is going to be... It has like a tartness, but it also kind of has that sweetness that you kind of get with that lemon scent, where bergamot is more just straight tart. So far, I'm not getting, I'm not getting a whole lot of like. It smells different than the original Aqua de Joe to me. So that is a plus, that it's not going to be like a, just like kind of like a redundant uh, fragrance, you know, to the collection. I'm getting kind of a lot of lemon. I'm starting to pick up. maybe a little bit of a saltiness in there as well so so far i'm getting like this aquatic citrus going on i might be picking up something green in here but in the first blast the the opening it's more aquatic citrus um with that citrus being kind of a lemon type of scent uh, just to me fresh clean it's refreshing. I like it. I wasn't expecting to 
be too fond of this one. Um, but I like the scent. I think it smells pretty good. All right, guys. I'm going to come back in a little bit and give it like three hours, and we'll go over the dry down and see how these things change a little bit. All right, guys, it's been three hours. Going to go ahead and do a dry down rundown on these three fragrances, these three 2022 releases. Uh, we'll start where I left off, or start where I began, I guess. Uh, Paco Rabanne, 1 million, Elixir. Still not, I'm still not really a big fan of this. Um, you get rose as it dries down. So in the opening, it's really just straight up vanilla uh, with some kind of like bright vanilla type of thing going on. As it dries down, you get a rose mixing in. So it's kind of a rose vanilla type of scent. It's like a fresh, bright rose with the vanilla. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, One Million Cologne. I don't know if any of you guys have tried it. I own it. I like that one. You know, it's kind of floral. It kind of flopped a little bit though, but it kind of feels like if you mixed One Million Cologne and like maybe added a sh like a crap ton of vanilla to it, that's kind of what you get. Yeah, I think that's kind of what I get. One Million Cologne with tons of vanilla added to it and nah number number two Dolce Gabbana light blue Italian love I kind of liked it more on that little card sample than I do now but I haven't lost the grapefruit it's hanging out pretty well on my skin still kind of pumping off um, get a lot of grapefruit now, I think they did a better job than they did last year where Light Blue Forever last year was just total grapefruit. I think they let some of the other notes in this one come up and mix with that grapefruit a little bit more, but it's still very grapefruit dominant, uh, at least it is on my skin after three hours. But I could pick up a little bit of the musk. I could pick up a little bit of like a woods thing going on in the base or in the dry down, but I like it better than Light Blue Forever. Um, I feel like there's a little bit more of a blend of other notes playing into the scent rather than just straight up grapefruit because, I mean, I go buy a grapefruit at the grocery store, cut that thing in half, rub it all over my body, and smell like grapefruit for less than I could buy a bottle of Light Blue Forever. But Italian Love, it's decent. Not as great as I thought it would be, though. Oh, that little card I got in the mail, it just smelled so much better. It's not bad. It's not great. It's decent. It's a good summer fragrance. I think they did a lot better of a job um, this year than they did with uh, Forever. So I like that they mixed those um, other notes in with the grapefruit. And Aqua de Jo Eau de Parfum. This one I applied after I got off the camera, decided I was going to make it my scent of the day, and I've enjoyed it. I went for a walk, <laughs> a little bit of a walk, as much as you can do after having your chest cracked open. Uh, walked to the end of the street and back, so a long walk, but um, it's very windy today. It's warm, it's sunny, really windy, and it really kicked up off of my clothing, off of my skin and everything. And I really smelled it um, super, super well, I guess, in the outdoors or, yeah, in the outdoors with all that wind kicking around with the warmth. It, it's good. I liked it. I love the scent on it. Oh, not lemon. I did look up notes. It's green mandarin. That's the citrus you get. That's that sweet citrus that you're getting. It's the green mandarin. I thought it was lemon. It's, it's not. And with it, I get a little bit of a uh, little bit of a woods in the dry down. It, it smells great. It's really fresh. Uh, definitely says summertime. I like it. Although I think performance could be an issue with this one. The one review that I watched on this fragrance uh, did mention the performance just isn't there, and it could be an issue because. 
at least on my wrist where I hit two sprays, it's died down quite a bit where the Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Italian Love is pumping off, that grapefruit's pumping off a lot stronger than the Aqua de Jo Eau de Parfum. But, I mean, I'm still getting it. I mean, it's, it's not like a skin scent yet, but I think it's going to be pretty close. So I'm guessing probably going to be a four to five hour fragrance if I had to take a guess at this point. All right, guys, I do appreciate you watching the video. Please do like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, watch the freaking ads so I can get paid. And let me know if you guys want to see some more like 2022 like niche release reviews or anything like that or if you have any suggestions for some niche stuff i'm kind of wanting to grab some more like niche aquatics and citruses or whatever for summertime and i think that pretty much wraps it up again thanks for watching catch you guys in the next video